Two weeks ago, when Elon finally closed on Twitter, we, we wanted to investigate what's happening, why, and is it what it looks like? We have four hypotheses and research questions associated with those hypotheses to inform our research. And then the last hypothesis is around paying for and maintaining social infrastructure. It came from seeing which roles were being let go at Twitter and in the tech layoffs. Also looking at what's happening on Mastodon and some of the infrastructure. This is being supported by volunteers, the infrastructure, the labor. Our hypothesis is the future of digital space must address the design and the capital and labor resources that are required to build, maintain, and care for digital public space. What, what anxiety that I have is that uh, Twitter under Elon Musk and this thing will actually, he won't either be pushed out and be replaced with something that works or implode in a way that we get replaced. That we end up with a very large continuing to survive organization that distorts the, the public sphere, like Truth Social on a thousand steroids. And so my, my fear is that it will either not get fixed and be good, you know, and have a path towards sustainability and openness, or go away completely. A lot of responsibility falls on the, the people running and starting the instances, God bless them. I'm funding out of my school, the journa.host that Adam Davidson started. Uh, we're trying to get an organization to take it on uh, because there's liability and there's cost and there's a lot of work. Um, uh, and I'm also, Alex Damos has been talking about uh, all of the uh, security problems he's seen already. And that's, that's a little scary. So I think we need funding to have folks work on security uh, work here, and we need to convince the funders of, to do that. It's also harder to find instances right now because a lot of the big ones are closing to new registrations because they're getting overwhelmed. To me, the surprising part looking at the Fediverse is that this is something that has been around essentially for a decade or so. The reason it's available to this broader community of people to adopt is because there was a decade of people building versions of it and fixing it and figuring out how it works and making standards. And Mastodon comes five years into that decade long process by which someone came along and, you know, one developer came along and said, I'm going to make this much easier to use. It's important to say, you know, it's not just this new thing. It's this thing that's been always there and been working on as this alternative, because in 2007 and 2008, we had discussions about why it would be a problem for Twitter to be this closed monolithic thing. Was it just a corporate decision? Was it just uh, company politics of, oh my God, the VCs want us to have uh, equity value or was it a philosophical thing? That's a really interesting question. So I, I spoke to Fred Wilson before doing the, the uh, decentralized implementation for those who don't know Fred was the original seed round investor in, in Twitter and said like look if you're if you're not on board with this I don't have a hope of making this happen and his response was really interesting um, he was like no do it this is awesome Twitter in a decentralized way will be a smaller potentially fish than if we go big and become the biggest thing that we possibly can but it'll be part of an ecosystem a relatively big fish in a much bigger ocean as an investor for him that would have been great because now there's a whole ecosystem of companies to invest in instead of just one um and and so that makes sense and honestly i don't i don't know i was pushed out shortly after doing that implementation um so i can't i can't say what happened internally but um but i think it was probably uh just a, a standard you know if we want to get investment, this reduces defensibility um, sort of analysis. So. But beyond that, I think I think to broaden to the larger Fediverse, um, you know, there's two ways to look at it. But, you know, Kevin Marks and IndieWeb have taught me over the years about the about the value of 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 being federated and distributed and open. Um, I, I think we learned that too from WordPress, so we wouldn't be taken over by a malign actor like uh, Elon Musk. But I also think there's the positive way to look at, at this federated world. What I look forward to is the creation of new valued services atop this open uh, structure. The most important thing that I see is getting developers excited uh, and entrepreneurs too, if I can use the dirty words of capitalism, uh, about building services atop this distributed world. I think the pressure too to federate with ActivityPub will be important. The hope it's that we can rethink this world and look at the models that are, that are out there, like WordPress, by the way, which isn't a protocol so much as just open source. And that kind of spirit of the people that are here today, 
I think will build a future. It's very early days. My argument is that it's 1480 in Gutenberg years. I think it's going to take time, but that's what excites me, whether it's Blue Sky or Scuttlebutt or Activity Pub, whatever it is. And, and my hope is that we return to open standards and that we return to the the ability for a thousand people to build stuff on these platforms where you don't need uh, you know app API permissions to experiment and where communities of users can develop a commons model of governing around social problems of communication so that we're not dependent on a very well-meaning single opaque group of people uh, who are doing trust and safety and rules. And I think that we need to realize that we need democratic structures and we need millions of them that can set the rules for different scopes of spaces.